Fear City. George Orwell's animal farm taught us that all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. And it's the same case in the hot hatchback ambit. While there might be parity on the playing field in terms of power output and 0 to 100 sprint times, some offerings feel more equal than others. Welcome to the 2013 Volkswagen Golf 7 GTI. Now when we tested it earlier this year, we said it would fly off the shelves faster than the 50 Shade series of books. And having spent more time with it, we're convinced it has the right stuff to perhaps even win the Car of the Year title. The GTI is all about balance, and sure, it doesn't win the power output competition. There are rivals out there that churn out more than this car's 162 kilowatts. But this is enough power in the GTI, its front wheels can cope quite easily. Other alternatives relay copious amounts of torque steer or have to rely on mechanical differentials to keep things straight and safe. This doesn't. right foot down and the GTI dashes off the line like a determined sprinter. In this model we've got the semi-automatic 6-speed double clutch transmission taking care of shifts on our behalf and as good as it is it removes one from the involvement of the driving process. And a hot hatchback after all is supposed to be about engagement and feel so we'd opt for the 6-speed manual transmission instead also because you get a pretty cool golf ball shaped gear knob. We motoring hacks are a critical bunch, as we have to be, and uh, lots of lots of fellow scribes in the industry have described the GTI's driving character as overly clinical. But the hallmark of a GTI is to deliver manageable power and driving thrills to the masses with varying driving capabilities, and it delivers that. I mean, it's unperturbed by abrupt cornering and heavy-handedness. It's tailored to be swift and exciting, but safe and controllable. We like it. Because it's a Volkswagen, you know quality is brilliant. Everything feels good to touch. These gauges on the instrument panel are as clear and precise as the face of a fancy watch. There's also a touchscreen interface, which is intuitive and easily one of the best systems out there. The GTI really is the perfect all-rounder. It's fast, it's comfortable, well-built, practical and boasts a slightly more premium air over its rivals, thanks to that VW badge up front. And if you don't go too mad with the options list, it's affordable too at 382,000 Rand. Volkswagen says they want to sell around 300 to 400 units a month in South Africa, and we think they're going to succeed. Like the iterations that preceded it, this animal will be VW's cash cow. Thank you for joining us on another Surf or Cars review. You can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and of course YouTube. For the latest motoring news, new and used car reviews, visit surfforcars.co.za. Until the next one, drive safe. Surf